time has come to get the macerator running. As usual, pump out is broken, but that's okay. Empty. Well, I've managed to sort out some of the mess. Um, but what I've done is I've put this little table up here. Uh, this is not going to be used as the dinette table, but as a nice temporary solution to store this table is to use it as the dinette table. I have pews over there and I need to get rid of them. So the best way to get rid of them is to put them in place. Let's do that. Everything feels like some sort of temporary solution at the moment. Got my wiring done for my pump out. So the toilet is all ready and done and 100% working. I have some wiring hanging down in the bathroom area. That'll provide the lights for that. If I can shape up the pews so that they fit in this location, then I can keep them here when I need them and then take them out when I need to get access because there's going to be a lot of plumbing that has to go in there but I need the space so I need to get rid of the pews there There is my outlet and I need to put this hose on the outlet and this is the sink waste. It needs to curve around the corner, go through the wood and, and then pop out where there will be a sink somewhere about there. So before I pack in that place with insulation I need to have that connected. Okay, so I have a teeny tiny problem. It comes around, I need to make sure it doesn't nip so that that looks like it'll stay in shape. It's going in behind here, but it is getting squeezed. So you can see it's getting squeezed. I don't want that. The same here. What I need to do is I need to put a notch, just a small notch to allow that to expand. And same here, what tool do I use? So if I run a drill and slip, it'll go through the tank. I think maybe a rasp might be the solution to this. Nope. That's better. Thankfully in this case I can actually take this away. I've marked it and I can just chop out a little bit. Now, temporarily, I'm going to board it up um, and then I'll uh, come back to the plumbing a little bit later. So now it's time to adapt this pew so that it fits in the diner. Uh, the reason I'm focusing on this at the moment is that I need to clear the space. At the moment it looks a bit like this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Oops. That fell apart. Now that I've taken the bit off the bottom, this leg can be placed up against the wall and screwed in to make it secure. Now we need to cut the pew to the right length. This groove has to be here, so that that can slot in. Do -do, 25. I've made a mistake. As I line that up, that looks about right, but when I put the, the back in, it's supposed to line up there, on top of that. Way out of line here. So it's crossing over. This bit is too far forward. This should be out there. It should be put in there. There's the light patch and there's a dark patch, so I need to come back by that much. So there's the line. So that has to move to there. has a groove um, but when I put it in first 
it didn't have the bevel and I ended up breaking that. So I'm going to have to repair that. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use this leftover piece. Uh, no, that one. Mark it up, cut it out, glue it in. The dowel is going to slot into the equivalent of that groove. This is broken, but we're going to glue it back together. But at least it's now lined up. That is ready to be re-glued. But I do need to cut this off now. Cut that little bit to glue in and then cut that off. this panel and then put that in I discovered I had cut it too short so I'm going to fill that in with with bits of wood from this <laughs> I'm gonna cut a notch out as you can see there's no panel so I'm gonna cut on just enough to slide it in and when I put a panel on, I'll shave a bit more off. So that's what I'm going to do. The last time these pews were used was in the Actors' Church, St. Paul's Covent Garden. Social distancing rules meant that these little X's were put here. We can take them off now because COVID is over. There we go. No social distancing on this boat. Ultimately, I need to finish off the panelling. The there's a load of plumbing and central heating and everything that has to go in behind these panels. So um, when I finally decide how this is going to look, it may have something to do with these oak panels going here. The idea is very simple. 
I have a bench seat here, and I have a bench seat here, and then a table in the middle. So now all I gotta do is get another bench seat made up. <laughs> Cause all the time. I've already made one. It's hiding under there. Et voilà! This is really interesting. So now that I've put it in place, I can see that this is actually much wider than I realized. Um, I'm going to put a table here that lowers down and creates a bed. Now the bed, we can do this, is just perfect. It's exactly the right length for me. Anyone else? Go to hell. But, but, I was concerned that if I put a table here, I won't be able to get out because of these. Because if the table comes up, you won't be able to get out. But because it's so wide, I can easily make uh, some sort of table that we can swing out of. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, but it's wider than I initially thought. I do have a little table, let's put that back.